Hello guys and welcome back to another Fat Cheats video. I hope everybody's doing wonderful and safe. And today's video is gonna be another install, but today we're gonna be doing an interior install. Today we're gonna be installing some new AC vents from American Modified. So let's go check it out. All right guys, so this is what's inside the box. Of course you have your harness, which everything's plug and play. Super easy, comes with everything you need. And of course, look how beautiful these things are. These are the AC vents. I like how nice and smooth they are. That's so awesome. I can't wait to see my night with the lights. So these are it. We'll pull it out so you guys can see. You're replacing the whole AC. So obviously you can open it and close it. It's really nice and unique. And then of course, this is for the lights right here, RGB. The harness is just plug and play. So uh, let's start with the disassemble. All right guys, for today's install, you're just gonna need three basic tools. A pry tool, a seven millimeter, and a 10 millimeter. That's it, so uh, let's get started. All right guys, so something that I recommend is that you go ahead and put the harness on the dash and kind of lay out what you guys want to do. Let me show you guys so you guys can get a better understanding. Very basic. So the module, I'm gonna hide it back here. There's a good place where I could probably zip tie it. I'm gonna have the actual switch down here so it's not visible. And when I'm driving, I have, you know, have the turn signal. I could just reach for it right here and it won't bother anybody and it's nice and hidden. The other thing is the ground. I'm gonna connect to the chassis, sorry. And then the power, I'm gonna run it all the way through the battery. There's a hole in the firewall right over there. I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step step everything. And so it's all up to you guys, it's all preference. Me personally, I'm gonna be wiring it straight to the battery. So whenever I'm at a Jeep meet, you know, bonfires, you know, little get togethers with the Jeep, I'll be able to have the lights on without having the car on accessory mode and worry about my battery draining. So I'm gonna have it straight up, wired up to the battery fused. And I was gonna do it to the cigarette lighter, but when you do it to the cigarette lighter, when you turn off your car, the lights go off. So that's why I'm gonna be going that route. So let's start I with it. I'm gonna be running a switch. So I'll be able to turn it on and off whenever I want. Um, so I hooked this up to a fuse and the switch. But if you guys wanna just have it to like a key start, I would recommend the cigarette lighter. It's a lot easier and you are going to be needing to connect this to a switch. All right, guys. So for the disassembling, it is very, very easy. Um, you use a seven millimeter socket to remove a bolt that's here. And there was another one that's here. Sorry. I'll show you guys now. There's one in here. And depending if you have an aftermarket radio or not, you're going to have one under here. You see? So the first thing you wanna wanna do is pull this down. Once you pull the plastic cover down, it's very easy, it's being held by clips. You're gonna see there's one, and then the other one's right there. So we're gonna use a seven millimeter socket, pull that out, and then we're gonna pull the other two, and then the dash should come right off, super easy. Two. All right, guys, so depending on what you have, meaning power windows or, or no power windows, you're gonna have the switches here. If you do have the switches, it's kinda gonna be the same thing. It's just gonna be a little harder. You're just gonna use a pry tool. But if you don't have anything, it's gonna be a lot easier. All you're gonna, like I said, one hand here, one hand here, just like that, super easy. So now, Sorry, let me just get... There's the other screw. Three. All right, guys, so like how I mentioned before, if you do not have an aftermarket radio, or maybe you do, that depends, every radio is different. Um, there's gonna be one right under here. Sorry, I haven't removed it in a while. So, and it clips, there you go. So you're gonna have one in there same size and everything just pull that one out once you've pulled out out of those three or four screws the dash should come right out so what i recommend you do is drop the steering wheel just like that bear with me okay let's move the harness out of the way so that it doesn't get caught up or anything prime example okay so very easy 
You can put it from any side you want. I like usually doing it from the top. Towards you, just like that. Disconnect that side. I have the car easy, it's just gonna come right on. You might have to play with it a little bit. Radio side is gonna have to come up first. Bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand. There you go. So what you wanna do is put this aside, make sure it doesn't crack or anything. Uh, next thing you guys wanna do is remove this panel right here. Uh, usually with a nice skinny flathead screwdriver, but since you already removed the dash, you can just put your hands in here and put it out just like that. Don't mind my RCA cables. All right, guys, so now for the passenger side, um, we're not gonna be removing the whole dash because you do have the airbag and we wanna try to avoid that as much as possible. So what we're gonna do is remove this from here and I'll show you guys how to remove it from inside in just a second. So let's do this first and then we get to that. All right guys, so what I recommend you guys do is put this at an angle and you're gonna look for a little opening. There's gonna be two openings. It's gonna be the first layer and then the second layer. You wanna connect them together, put the screwdriver through and turn everything at the same time. Just like that, it should come right off. So this is the one on the dash that we already removed. So you guys get a better view. Let me see. It's hard to see right there. See, that's, that's the hole you're gonna see. If it gets dark, that means you're not there. You gotta turn it until you see it. And that's when you're gonna put the same thing and just turn the whole thing together. You're gonna turn. Just like that. One hand, you're gonna wanna remove this. And just like that it comes right off so now that you're gonna do the same thing to the other the other two in the center Alright guys, so what you guys are going to want to do is grab the new AC vents and put them in. So these little tabs, you're going to want to align it with the actual AC vent. So you see this is the smallest one. Put the cable in. Line it right there. And it should go all the way down. Once it's there, you're going to want to turn it until you hear the click. Just like that. Awesome. Now you're going to want to do the same thing to the other three. Sorry for the mess. So what I found easier is that we start from the top over there. But then we work our way down right here. We'll have one cable for one AC vent, have the other cable for the AC vent, and you know, as well run the power. So whoever wants to run it off the uh, cigarette lighter is gonna be right there, make their life easier. Um, but what I'm gonna do is do that, go through the glove box into here, and it's gonna make the setup and the install a lot much easier. So you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and remove the glove box. You're gonna wanna pinch the two sides together, and it's gonna come right out. I'll show you guys now. Awesome. Pull the glove box, pinch the sides, comes right off. All right, guys, so for now, we're just going to leave this here. We're going to work on that, but we want to get an estimated length. So we don't want to send too much cable, and then we run out of cable, and then we're going to have to rewire everything. So just to get an estimate, make sure right there. So we're going to run it over the cluster to make it a lot easier, and then right here, this is where the, it's gonna get a little more difficult, but it's not too bad. Where my RCAs are running to the radio, we're gonna go through there, maybe up here. So we're gonna run it through there and should be able to come out through here. I'm gonna show you guys now. So you're gonna wanna put the stuff through here. I'm gonna show you guys now. And then you just should be able to, sorry, bear with me. Be able to see it, yeah, you see it right there? So you're gonna wanna use both hands to pass through the cables to get that opening right through there. So this is what I was saying. Once you have it on the other side, 
be careful, be gentle with it. Do it with two hands. I'm holding the camera so I can show you guys. But down through there and out through this side. All right, guys, so once you run it through there, what I recommend you guys do now is bring it down. I'll show you guys now. You have space in here, and then you have space over here. But, of course, you want to stay away from the radio so you don't have any interference. So I'm going to run it down through here. I'll show you guys now. You see all that space. I have a harness for one of the AC vents and then the other. Then from there, we'll pass it down through here and go back up. And I'll show you guys now. Here's the second one. Here. All right, guys. So what you guys are gonna want to do now is grab the harness, and you're gonna see that opening. Let me show you where my hand is in the back. Slide it in through here, and then from there, we're gonna work our way around. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to run it, the passenger harness, side harness, sorry. I'm going to run it through this right here. So I'm able to zip tie it, you see, and it doesn't get away of the glove box. So we're going to run it through here, and then we're going to pass it underneath through here. I'll show you guys now. Right. So we're going to go ahead and pass it. You'll probably be able to see the AC vent. Give me a second. Just bear, me, bear with me. So now, you see this little hole? You see my finger? You could either run it through, through that corner over there, but it's a little bit more tough and you're kind of getting close to the airbag. So I'm gonna be avoiding that, you see? I'm going underneath. You gotta fish it, play with it. All right, close enough. Just like that. So you're following the AC tunnel, uh, compartment, whatever you want to call it. You're kind of going to be following it. And look, you can't even see it. Now here, I'm just going to organize it and zip tie it so it doesn't get in the way. And you can't see anything. All right, guys. So now for the power source, you're going to want to go through here. This little firewall hole right here. And it's going to take you right to the battery. Mine is already open because I've used it before. So we're going to go ahead and pass that through. And I'll show you how it comes out on the other side. It's really hard to tell. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. See, that's the little fire hole, firewall. So you're going to want to go ahead and pull it through. Nice and snug. You can not, now you can zip tie it. Pass it through here. Oh, shoot. Alright guys, so all right, guys, so once you pull it through there, you can zip tie it nice and snug, hide it. It's not that visible. You can pass it through this hole, whatever you like, run it through the back, so you can connect it to the battery. So now what I'm going to do is work on the ground and save the power for for last. Alright guys, ignore these wires, these are for my subs and my speaker lights. So the ground I'm gonna be using this right here, so it's gonna be obviously a 10. You're gonna pull that out, connect your ground, and then we'll start moving to the power. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab your 10 millimeter socket. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and let's screw it. There you go. So we're gonna be connecting the ground, and then we'll tie it right back up. Let's 
So we're gonna go ahead and screw it now. Let me screw this so it can be nice and snug. And I'll yeah, show you guys. So what now. we're gonna do now, before we start putting everything on, zip tying everything, we're gonna make sure that the lights, everything works the way it's supposed to. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab your tester, grab your cable. We're gonna plug it in, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in just to test it. It looks like it's working. Look how beautiful. All right, guys. So you're gonna wanna go and check, go through all the colors, make sure everything works. Looks like we're good. Switch works. All right, so now we can go back to the assembly part. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is now zip tie the cables, put the glove box back, and put that AC vent on first. All right, guys. So what you're gonna wanna do is put everything back like how we explained. Everything's nice and ready. Put this in here like that. And just like that, that means it's closed. That side's open, wow. So now you can go ahead, zip tie it, put the glove box back in, and now start working your way down. All right, guys, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect them. I'll show you guys now, just like that. So these are not connected, they're nice, they both work. So we're gonna go ahead, start mounting it, and start connecting this one, and start working with the switch. All right, guys, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure everything works. Let's see if I can get better, there you go. Look how beautiful, man. Wow, my favorite one. I do like the green. It, it matches, That's that is hot. Cause it matches with the cluster. I really do like that. Kind of looks a kind of factory. Obviously, my favorite color is obviously blue, so I'm gonna stick with the blue. Uh, depends what mood here in here. But that's that right there is where where it's at. There you go, so you can see it better. That is so beautiful. All right, let's finish up. Is I still haven't connected anything, but I am gonna run it through the outside, so it's nice and hidden. And I want it mounted right around here. So no one can see it. Like how I mentioned earlier, turn signals right there. So you're not, you're not that off. You don't want to be going searching for the, for the color changer. And then my switch is ran to the other side. So you can see the orange cable there to make everything nice and accessible. So what I'm going to start doing is now clipping the dash, but having this out of the way, you don't want to pinch it and see to where we can mount it. So once I find a way, I'll show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna be putting it right in this area right here. So the cable hides, you can't see it. So give me a second, bear with me. Close off. So you see, you can't even see it. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything back. See, from right here, start switching the lights. Doesn't get in the way of anything, not visible at all. You guys wanna see it, there it goes. If anything, you might wanna use double-sided tape or a little bit of super glue. You also don't wanna mess up the switch, so be very gentle with it. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and put everything back and then I'll show you guys how everything looks nice and complete. All right, guys, so now we're going to be putting back everything. Don't forget about the screw that goes here. The other one, if you do have it, so that's one, two, three, sorry, three, and four. So we're going to put those back so we can put the interior back together. Make sure everything's nice and clipped and aligned. I'm very picky with that. It gets kind of annoying. So if, it, if the dash is not aligned, the screws are not going to go in properly and you could break it. So just be a little gentle with it. Make sure it's aligned before you screw anything in. 
So you can see that one's already aligned. Everything's aligned. So you see, if it's not aligned, make sure it's aligned. You should be able to put it in by hand super easy and then tighten it up. So let's go ahead and do that. And one, two. Three. And of course, if you have it, oh, I'm this out of the way. And if you have it, four. Last but not least. Also, now let me show you guys how everything looks. All right, guys, so this is how it looks. Look, what a beauty. Show you guys there. Look at that. I like, believe it or not, it's weird, but I do like how this one kind of matches the interior. It's weird, but it goes with the interior. If you can see. See how it goes with it? So I think that's pretty fresh. You do have other colors. Let me turn off the lights. I'm sorry. That will notify you that the color is going to reset. So it always starts fresh again. Green, blue. That's like yellow, pink, uh, aqua. This one's nice. I like it. It's like white, but it's not too bright. It's nice and, you know, subtle. This one's like orange, green. Actually, this one's orange. So it has a lot of colors, believe it or not. Really pretty. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, concerns, any uh, tips, just comment down below. If you guys want to find these AC vents, you can find them at American Modified. Everything's going to be in the description below. Go check them out, guys. They have amazing products. You guys can obviously tell those AC vents are beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Fat Jeeps. Don't forget to like and subscribe until the next one.